Hi, I'm Vic, and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we, and apparently the rest of the world, are doing things very, very differently. If you're finding fresh veg a bit difficult to get hold of, for whatever reason at the moment, um, try sprouting some beans or seeds. Lovely fresh flavour. The usual technique is to dampen them and put them in a jar with a cloth over the top held in place by a rubber band and to rinse them morning and night or something like that, drain them, leave it on their side, bit of growing area. Um, but we have found that uh, these strainers from teapots make a, uh, a great gauze end. It's just a you know, kill the jar like that. And uh, we drink a lot of tea and consequently wreck a lot of teapots and uh, you just snip one of these strainers to bits and uh, you can make a little disc that fits in the end of the jar. We've also tried uh, sprouting barley but the results have hardly been encouraging so far. Also keeping myself busy um, clearing the herb garden out from all the stuff that dried during the drought. Down there, it smells lovely. The expert nose here says that the uh, dried herbs are smelling all right, aren't they dog? What we're going to do next is trim our chickens' wings, for lo, they have discovered flight. Well, they can't fly very well, but they can fall with style. Anyway, so, um, exhibit A, chicken feather. Now, if you clip the uh, feathers off the tips of a chicken's wing um, on one side and it tries to take off, it keels over quite spectacularly and falls into the ground again. So, it can't get out over the fence and um, it can't go and scratch up our garden and eat our new seedlings, for example. So, in a chicken feather, which you know, roughly looks like this, there's veins in it sort of going all the way up to there-ish. Right? So, we, we don't want to cut it down there, we want to cut it there. Um, there's some secondary feathers on the chicken wing, and basically you trim these big primary flight feathers um, to the same length as the secondary feathers, and that's about right. Um, so you need the sharp shears and uh, also in case of accidents I have a little tube of super glue um, so if I see any blood coming out the end of the feather put a little dab of super glue on it and uh, that'll stop the bleeding straight away which is what super glue was invented for um, not for chickens for people but there you go so that's the plan as they say first catch your chicken So the best time to catch them is the evening before. We just lock them in. And then in the morning, they're ours. Zut alors, I have missed one. The rest of them are still in there. And when you hold them upside down, they go all quiet. Don't know why that works, but it does. Okay, you've got the, um, the equipment. We have the scissors, and we have the super glue. I hope I don't need the super glue, because all, though it would make a very amusing Fail Army video, I don't really want to be known as the guy who super glued himself to a chicken. So you look after that. All right. So this one is obviously the most uncooperative chicken of the lot. So what we're going to do is extract the chicken from the net. Here we come. Here we are. Now we always do the same wing, so that if you have to uh, catch them and do them again, um, you 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 uh, you don't do the same one twice. Look, this one has already got. Slightly clipped feathers. There we go. So what we're after cutting is the first ten feathers or so, five, six, seven, uh, and I ten. So roughly to where that person uh, last clipped them. Um, and we want to avoid uh, 
this bit down here where these secondary feathers are. All right? So this won't hurt the bird at all. We just cut along here. Doesn't mean it won't protest until we get to that little feather there. All right, and now the bird is lopsided and can't fly straight. Piece of hydroponic system. Yeah, I can look after that as well. All right, that's one. Three more to go. I think you get the picture. See you at the end of it. And there we go, straight back to food. Gotta love chickens. Yeah. <laughs> you know, little beauty, you're in for a haircut. As added incentive for them to stay inside, we're going to wire their fence up to a few kilovolts. That should do it. Now I can go and clean off all the chicken shit. It's not something you would expect, but uh, we had a mouse break in briefly, um, and it ate all the silicone bristles off the silicone pastry brush. It also ate a silicone ladle and a silicone spatula. No, no, no. That one, see, it's eaten the edge off the silicone spatula. Little fairy bugger. We hope that you managed to stay healthy until the next episode. Here's a piece of advice. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. A clove of garlic a day keeps everybody away. So, for now, that's your lot. Down on Eco Farm. <laughs>